All right, so I wanted to record this um, before the event to maybe I'll have two different takes, maybe I'll have the same take. But the idea is I'm in the Philippines, Cebu Island in Mall Bowl, and I am gonna go to a cockfight today. It's Sunday, Sunday afternoon, and I'm gonna go attend a cockfight because it is a huge part of the culture here. And I'm all about trying to see what the local cultures have to offer. And uh, I'm a sportsman as well, so it's, it's part, of, part of the same class. And I know a lot of people will have a problem with me going to a cockfight. My, my wife does not agree. My, my own brother that's on vacation with me here is not gonna go with me as well. But I have a different take on this. Um, and um, I just think that we, as an Americans, we just look at things different. And by the way, I will not show any um, footage in this video of the actual cocks fighting. I know that, that some people will find that very insensitive. So I will, I will not do that. I will edit that out. I will show you all the events of the activities of the day, uh, the camaraderie. So that, that's what I'm a lot about is, is the camaraderie and the festivities. That's why I like going to college football games in America. That's why I like going to, to uh, NBA basketball games. It's about the people. That's why Nikki and I have attended um, sumo wrestling in Japan, Muay Thai fighting in, in Thailand, um, rugby in Australia, cricket in South Africa. That's why we go see all these amazing events around the world because we get a chance to experience it with the people. And that's why this event is so important to me and why I want to attend it, because it's the people. This is what the people do. They've done it for generations. I want to be a part of that. I want to understand why they love it so much. Um, but to just the, to get to the idea of why we think it's so insensitive is, is very odd to me. The, the chickens and the, and the roosters that I've seen on the streets of, of Cebu Island, they're treated like kings. In America, ours are all caged in. They have no life. Here, they at least... the the wildlife, all the wildlife, dogs, cats, roosters, goats, um, they all get to just roam around. It's, it's amazing for these animals, the life that they have. And I, I realize that this is, uh, this is a violent end for this animal um, in, this, in this scenario, but at the same time, how do we kill chickens in America? You know what I mean? It's disgusting. And when you look at other forms of, I guess, competition and, and how things are, um, and even animals. So if you look at animals alone, we eat amazing amounts of cows cows are sacred in india so when you look at things that way is is how cultures look at um, animals like we domesticate dogs dogs get the opportunity to, to run the streets and run the wild in in all parts of the world so how how we do things in america doesn't mean that it's right that's just how we do it so the the, the way that we handle certain events and activities like this is just different and so, especially like when you look at like fighting in America, when we, we'll let two humans get in a cage together and potentially kill each other, potentially kill each other, but we think that's sport and one of the fastest growing sports in America. I think it's a sport as well. But you look at football, American football, these guys are destroying each other head to head. I mean, all the, all the concussions, we're showing how bad it is, but we continue to, to, um, to celebrate that. So that's, that's why I don't see what's wrong with this because it is just another form of celebration and community camaraderie. They eat the chickens right afterwards, so they're gonna eat the chicken anyway, so you, why wouldn't you um, give it a chance to survive in, in, in this, this form of contact? And when you look at other athletics beyond um, our American sports, we, Nick and I had a chance to attend the TT motorcycle races in Isle of Man, um, it's, which is in between the UK and Ireland. And it's, it's, it's motorcycle track, there's 33 miles, and these guys go about 180 miles an hour on these motorcycles in, in very close quarters. While Nikki and I were there, three humans died. But this continues to go on. So when you think about like what's crude, what's terrible, what do we celebrate? Um, I think we, we tend to draw the line at what we're comfortable with, and some people just don't feel comfortable with two chickens going head to head and um, and that's why they have a problem. But I'm gonna celebrate this day. I've actually talked to a local family and I'm a chance to sponsor their chicken and because uh, they don't have enough money to typically to be able to go to this event. And so I came to them, asked them that they had, if they had cocks to, to, to potentially fight and they said they did, but they didn't have the money. So I'm gonna sponsor the chicken for them so they can attend and I can go with the family, make it very um, authentic and something they love to do. And, and it's gonna be an amazing celebration. So I'm gonna share that with you and hopefully it is a fun event. Again, I will not show anything insensitive. I will just show uh, the, the pageantry of it all, what makes it special, and maybe someday if, if you're in this part of the world, you can take part in as well. Enjoy. This is the family's home. They had three houses there. Um, they're all very modest, but great people, uh, no doubt. That's the 
father there. It was me and him on my scooter as we took the bird to the matches for the day in a box. Um, as I drove the scooter, it was crazy uh, to, to have that bird right behind me. And then this is the stadium here itself. It's shaped as an octagon. And you will see that there's plenty of seating um, in the stadium. And it's fun because they serve beer and alcohol and uh, uh, food as well. And people are getting pretty drunk all day. It's a Sunday afternoon. Uh, the event goes on for several hours. So people are having a good time, but nobody really got a hand. This is the area in the, on the side where they would compare the birds because they want to find the bird that matches well against theirs. And that's the idea. You want two birds that are equal um, to, to have the fairs uh, battle possible. So they go around in the back and, and compare the birds. And come to find out, these birds are trained. A lot of time and energy and efforts gone into trying to get the birds as strong as possible um, to, so they can compete well. And this is that process in the back so they can try to find the, the best bird possible. This was our guy here. And then this is a board that shows, um, I think it's the different trainers that have birds in the matches. And this is, as you look in uh, the, the front uh, front area here, uh, as, you're, as you're walking into the place. Everybody was so kind of, and uh, really tried to help us the best. These folks here set the odds for the matches. Those three people in the box there set the odds for the matches. And then the guys in the ring are the ones that yell out the prices so then all the betters can make their bets. And they, they do a bit, a bit of hyping before the match starts, um, a lot of which I couldn't understand because of local language. But um, this is the outside of it. You'll see all the, the scooters that you can, you can pull in for an extra fee and park in there for a little bit extra. But everybody's really standing up, having a great time the entire time and, and placing their bets. Um, this is, again, this is a little pre-hype before the match begins and before all those crazy bets. You'll hear all the bets going down. Um, and this is where the excitement begins. idea how they how they remember all those bets and uh, everything that goes on to that but uh, it was such a good time and my opinion doesn't change at all um, based on how it's going to that um, because it's it's part of their culture uh, an amazing Filipino culture that I fell in love with while we were there the people were so kind and, and um, just fun people and that day was the exact same way it was fun yeah it was intense at times because of the the competition of it but between the betting and the and the beer and just hang, hanging out having it having fun with your friends it was an awesome event i highly recommend if you go to the philippines or any country that has this type of competition taken in it's all part of being a part of the local um, culture and understanding how they live and the things they like to take in and just like all the other sporting events i've seen around the world i'm so happy that i, I joined uh, the locals there and doing this and if you can find a local to take you that's the best way it's always the best way to hook up with a local um to, to take you in that's obviously that's how we, we took in the event on the day and um no regrets had a blast really enjoyed it and uh, i highly recommend it